Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel and today I'm going to do a quick tip on presets inside of Tornado. So I saw a post on the Audio Bus forum and I thought, well, I'll look into it. And so what I figured out is, first of all, you need to go into the settings to the iCloud. So you need to go to the settings iCloud and enable iCloud Sync. Okay. And... So yeah, that's it. And then you can go here. And so let's say we want, say we like this guy, but we want to take and put a filter there and a vowel filter there. And then, you know, we go in, play with some things and we want to save it. And so we save. And now it's keyable my version. Press save and there it is. And it'll show up underneath user keyable my version okay because we have enabled the um, iCloud so if you go to your files and go to iCloud go all the way down to the bottom you'll have tornado under global presets because that was a global preset you'll see keyable my version now what I can do is I can select this and let's move it to audio share and copy Let's go to audio share, make sure it's there. Keyable my version. Let's go back to Tornado. Global users. So let's now let's select this, hit delete. And now it's gone. So now let's go back into here. Users back. It's still there, but if I close it out. Oops. Open it back up. That's a file. Okay. So then we go to user and see now you don't see it. So I can close it out. Go back into audio share. Let's select keyable and let's move it to iCloud. Tornado, global presets, users, copy. Now when we open up Tornado, there it is. So that's how you can save presets. Now let me try it out in side of that standalone. Let me make sure that the same thing works. Let's see if it pulls from the same location. So let's load it up inside of AUM Okay, so they're there and so yeah, so there they seems to be pulling from the same location So you may have to enable it from what I can tell there you can't get back to the other version of the uh, Software it's not under settings under here It pulls up the dictator that just randomizes this is presets and so you have to open it up standalone enable iCloud but then so let's let's try that again so let's go to iCloud we'll just do it this way this time we'll go to iCloud tornado we will select and we will duplicate. Now you have a version two of that. So let's go back into here and see we don't have a version two. Oops, cancel. Let's close it out. Open it back up. Now let's see if we have a version two, and we do. And so it seems like each time that it opens, it reinitializes everything. And so you just have to close it out and open it back up if you want to add in a somebody else's preset or you want to share your presets, download presets somewhere if you can find them, then that's it. So it just uses iCloud, so just make sure that you 
open it up initially, standalone, go in to the settings, enable iCloud Sync, and it will create a folder for you on your iCloud Drive under your files. And so this right here will also work with the effects presets as well. And so I did one patterning delay, I was just messing around. And so it'll work the same way for each individual effect and for global presets. Thanks guys, have a good day.